Jason Murphy, how much do you know about why we're here right now? <laughs> I'm very perplexed. They're in a band. Yes, they're a top five rock album on Billboard charts. What? It's about math? No, uh, kind of, maybe. Like conjunction junction? But <laughs> math? No. It's like schoolhouse rocks. <laughs> but I'm excited. <laughs> Tell me about how bills work. We, we are here with the Callous Cowboy Zone, Amber and Carson, who are going to explain to us math core? Yes. You got it. That is what it's called, is yes. Is this the thing that DeSantis is mad about? <laughs> no. Okay, cool. That's hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Squarespace. Head on over to squarespace.com slash rogue, spell it right, R-O-G-U-E. Sign up for a free trial, and when you fall in love, make sure to use promo code ROGUE at checkout. Get 10% off and keep us in business. What is MathCore? <laughs> so MathCore is a combination of two uh, pretty niche genres, a uh, subgenre of rock and emo music called math rock and a subgenre of metal called hardcore. Wait, wait, wait I, I'm fairly familiar with uh, metal hardcore. Wait, oh, geez, I'm gonna date myself. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Go ahead, Grandpa. Would you put, back in the old days, like Dragon Force in, in hardcore metal, or? Uh, no, Dragon Force is more just traditional metal, or what's called power metal. I don't understand ah. this world. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll, give, give me, I'll- Give me some hardcore bands. Okay, have heart. Give me some uh, hardcore bands I've heard of. <laughs> Hate Breed. Hate Breed. I've Hate heard of breed. that one. And you could kind of consider what uh, like Slipknot was doing in the early 2000s to be like hardcore influenced metal or metalcore. They were okay. the masks. So most songs that you hear on the radio or just in life really are in a time signature uh, called 4-4. Four, four. I do know that one. Yeah. That, that, yeah. That, that's one, give, give us two, three, three, it's zero. four. One, two, three, four. Junk, junk. Junk, 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 junk. Junk, 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 junk. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Junk, 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 junk. There you go. I know this one. I know this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, right, there you go. Uh, so that's 4-4, four, four, so right? that's standard, okay. yeah. And then 3-4 is like a waltz. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three. 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 That's a three, four? That's three, four, yes. One, two, three. Okay. The Goo Goo Doll song. One, two, three. Iris, yeah, that's a three, four. Piano Man is a three, four. One, two, three. Sing us a song, you're the piano fellow. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That tickle is always key. Yes. Uh, this <laughs> is a relatable metaphor. I love that Brian starts doing Billy and Joel when he's doing do Cover Channel. I please. <laughs> ah, da, da. There okay. you go. Yeah, that's three, four, yeah, right? that's the three, musical four. talent exactly. line is like right about here. <laughs> sure, right, right, sure. Right. Like just, I, I beg to differ, but yeah. <laughs> That was pretty if solid. By talent line, you mean the talented people are on this side. Yeah. yeah. I, I, sure. I actually know a little bit about irregular time signatures and polyrhythmic drumming from my day job. Uh, Do you really? Uh, okay, I am a drummer. Okay. Yeah, I am. That's right, uh, sometimes, you are. Sometimes, I knew this, occasionally. actually. Uh, stage yeah. name, my stage name is uh, actually Danny Carey. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, so, uh, and I was, I played in Cream, well, King Crimson. Tool. I read but, the uh, Wikipedia on math yeah, rock, so yeah. I Oh, okay. that's what's You're going on. Yeah. 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 All I knew so, was that it was over my head. Tool is a really good example of a band that uses a regular time yes. signature. No, I actually yeah. knew what I was talking about there because they will switch it up and partway they're doing a 4-4 four, four, and then they'll switch to... Something else entirely. And it's yes. like right in the middle of the song and it can be perplexing if you don't know what you're exactly. listening to. And right. would you say that math rock is kind of like jazz in that it's you have to know how to listen to it. You don't necessarily have to know how to listen to it to enjoy it. It's hard to bob your head to, that's my quantifier. Yeah. If you're yeah. in a zone and you're listening to it, I'm like, you can't dance to it particularly, and you can't really yeah. bob your head unless you know exactly so what So not a lot on. of people like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're going in one direction, and then suddenly the time signature changes. Exactly. Yes. And it's abruptly a very different song. 
So yes. I am ashamed to admit that I'm creeping up on 50 years and I only just figured out what three, three time is. Like three, four time is one, two, three, one, two, three. Three, three time. But, but, but three, four time is, is one, two, three, pause. So there's still a fourth beat there. And only recently I listened to the Beastie Boys book and uh, they were talking about the, the song in threes. And that's the one where it's like, is, is that 3-3 three, three time? 3-3 three, three time does not exist. F*** you. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So what three, it is? 3-3 three, three time is not Get real. off my property. <laughs> Get out yeah. of my houses. <laughs> so the way it works is the top number is like the pulse or the heartbeat of the song, if you will. Um, and that's the, like, the, you know, your one, two, three, four. The bottom number is really just the value that each note takes up within the measure or that particular portion of the song. So a whole note would be song. four beats. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And a measure four, four whole note would take up four beats because that's the whole measure in the bottom. And it gets technical, and so, you know, we just count. We yeah. just count one, yeah. two, three, four. We don't think about it too deep. I get the yeah. sense that this is the threshold where it's about to get weird. It's about what to get pretty weird. Yeah. beyond. In our music, um, it's very fast. Um, we change time signatures almost every measure if what? we're not hitting Near a constant. groove. I, I thought the whole purpose of music was you establish a pattern and you get into the pattern and then you break the pattern and that's when the dopamine happens. If you're changing Ooh. every single measure, how are you ever gonna get a foothold? I mean, that's kind of What's the idea. What's wrong with you kids and your jazz music? Get off my lawn! I want my dopamine! <laughs> it's very similar to it's very similar to jazz in which it, it is kind of hard to catch. Some people don't you like right. relaxing. <laughs> yeah, or being chill. <laughs> I can show you an example of uh, of one of our songs that starts in four and then goes into five and then goes into six, if you would like. What, I don't think I would like. Yeah. <laughs> what do those words even mean? <laughs> so five four is exactly what you think it is. Five four is four four with an extra quarter note. Do you ever say one and a quarter? Because I would be tempted to say one and a quarter. No, never. Okay. I heard once the metaphor of five four time being. Get the f***ing rhythm, get the f***ing rhythm, get the f***ing, get the f***ing rhythm, get the f***ing rhythm. Is, 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 is that close. right? I've never heard that before. Um, the best example of it is probably Take Five by the Dave Brubeck Quartet, which is used in a bunch of movies. Dun, 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 dun. dun. No, that's not it. Nah, yeah, you're close though. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, yeah. three, four, five. So one, a, two, three, four, five. You catch one, the top two, three, note four, here, five. so it's one, two, three, four. You know, that's how you kind of pick it out is where where's the emphasis yeah. kind of landing. Okay. It's hard to pick out even if you're listening to music. Even if you know yeah. what's going on, it's hard to count it sometimes. Jason Murphy rocks. Jason Murphy rocks. Jason Murphy rocks. Jason Murphy rocks. Is that 5-4? That's 5-4. Yeah. Nailed it. We got yeah. it. That's yeah. how Make it your own. all of you budding musicians. <laughs> you, mus musicians. Musicians. If you're a musician. <laughs> okay, so that's 5-4 time. Yes. And then. What's our weirdest? Our weirdest is, in my opinion, is 7-8. Um, like seven an eighth irrational notes. number over yeah <laughs> over a triangle. <laughs> so seven eighth notes, you would kind of count it because saying one two three four five six seven is kind of a mouthful. Right. You would count it as one and two and. So I just did one and two and that would be four. Four. Right. Right. So. But one and two and two and two and three and two and. That was totally wrong. Yeah. Why I, did you let I was, me keep I was trying to make you feel like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I thought you were about to lift three the couch and. together or something. <laughs> one what? and two and, and three, three and four. And four. And <laughs> seven, eight, and nine, eight are the two most tricky to me. So the way that I count out seven, eight is I go one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. So there's no and after the four. And two and three it's, and it's, four. It's technically one seven. less eighth note than 4-4. Four, four. So you count to four with the ands, but then you cut off the four. Because the way the quarter notes traditionally go in like a measure of 4-4 four, four is that that's your one and. So a measure of four would be one and two and three and four and. So right? seven eighths would be Jason Murphy totally rocks. To uh, Jason Murphy totally <laughs> rocks. Jason Murphy totally rocks. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, it, it went yeah. from like, Jason's about to come out on stage at <laughs> Wembley yeah, Stadium yeah, yeah, yeah. to a weird chant before <laughs> the yeah. cult meeting yeah, yeah, starts. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm okay with uh, all yeah, of this. I like, I like both. <laughs> yeah. I like both. Seven eighths, four four. Yeah. Two twenty, two twenty one, whatever. Just takes. add two more eighth notes after that to make it nine eight. You could get into sixteenths. You can start doing like 15, 16, which is, you know, 15, 16th notes, 
that is like extremely advanced, and what? we what? won't even touch that. So I'll tell you about it later. It's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't explain Fill it. Them in, yeah. Why is that appealing to human brains? Like, like, what is it about that that we? I, I, I suppose that maybe you know, since you're raised from a child for four four, and you discover three four, and then five eights or whatever, it, is it just the novelty? Depends. I, I think some of it is. Yeah. <laughs> Allow me to reduce your entire career to, to a dopamine. Yeah. 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 Sorry. <laughs> I have no other explanation for, it. it's like a guitar solo, it sounds cool. People wanna hear shit that sounds cool, you know what I mean? Can I swear on this or no? Okay, all right, cool. Uh, it's a fun challenge to try and make it into something coherent. Is there a yes. chalkboard at your shows where you, you have somebody <laughs> no, like but there should be probably. Yeah. Just yeah. like maybe some handouts or something, I mean, for the, for the olds. This is the part that I'm super curious of, is, is the fact that you change in a single song. Uh, uh, what up with that? Explain yourself. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. the other thing is like, it's fun for us to kind of write something that we can play and that no other band can play. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, the it's, only it's, way uh, to get this sound is to come see us. That's kind yeah. of the appeal to it. It's it's a bit like so. a, a like back to jazz. It's back to like an incredible oboe solo or something. Yeah, yeah. Do you have oboe solos? Okay, we've we've never we've <laughs> never said yeah. no. I never say no to an oboe. It's a policy <laughs> I have. <laughs> I, know I have it written on my chest. I never I, say no to an oboe. You need some oboe. I yeah. absolutely need some oboe. I've never needed more oboe in my life. Can we get a t-shirt made that says, life. never say no to the oboe? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. What are nine eighths? So it's basically the same thing with seven eight, but with two extra eighth notes. So you would count it out as one and two and three and four and five. One and two and three Jason and four and five. Jason Murphy. Yeah, go on. Stinks on. No. I mean, that's okay. No, put it back. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Them down. <laughs> that, that's two measures, nine beats, right? The thing it's is, is that's measure. one measure. It's one measure. So all of beats. these things are the time signature, all of that takes place in one measure. Okay, explain it using the words Jason Murphy. Jason Murphy does not stink on ice. 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 Jason Murphy does, does not, not stink on ice. So in the words math core, the core is the style of the music and the math is the rhythm of the music. Is that right? Sure. You could That's you could fair. describe it as that. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, but on top of that, you switched every freaking measure. Every measure. Pretty much. How, yeah. how many will you do in one song? Oh. How many changes will yeah, we do in one yeah. song? I think the most we've ever hit was somewhere in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> um, with like a five minute song, probably. So it's going back and forth and around. Just going and back and forth how? over and over again. <laughs> Sheer right. willpower. Rote memorization. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and right. a lot just, of practice. Just, uh, yeah, yeah. Give us the quiz. Let, let us prove we so, understand yeah. this. So this is a song of ours from our first album. Uh, it's called Blackberry DeLorean. I guess the quiz will be, we, maybe we should raise our hands when we detect the change. Oh, sure, yeah. I can do <laughs> that. As, yeah, yeah, as yeah. a professional yeah. drummer, I'm I, sure you'll I, recognize I, it. We'll call on you one yeah. at a time, yeah. I, I don't want to be the ringer here, so I'm going to give you a chance to. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, here we go. Five eight, is that right? Five four. Right. Uh, wait, did it change? That that was only four four and yeah, five four. Was, was four four. Was, there, was, there, was there anything was, else? There was six four. In that there. was you <laughs> too. Yeah. What the? No, yeah. there was not. There, no. I was listening and I was watching Brian do things with his fingers, <laughs> and I was and I was like, yeah, yeah. We got we got two. We got two change-ups. There. Yeah. There's a third. Yeah. There, there, there is a third. third. Yeah. When was it? Back then? It's pretty early. Yeah. Um, so here, I'll break it down for you. Okay. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, 
four, one, two, three, 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 four, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five. They were talking about a traditional five, six. That's what I was. You see that? You see that? It was in sync. Is that what the audience is doing the whole time is just counting? No, so they don't know no. what's going on. They're hitting each other. <laughs> they're, they're throwing punches yeah. and stuff. Oh, because yeah. they're like, I'm bad at math. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's where you moshing yeah. starts. It's That's a very amazing. awkward mosh, not in, you know, four. Here's the part I'm afraid to ask, but I suspect that you played this first because it's fairly elementary. Does it get more advanced? This is oh, one yeah. of our easiest. This is, yeah. the, this this is, is one of their easiest. Yeah. Yeah. Here's one we call square root. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's called Just square root It's called negative I. <laughs> <laughs> is this song called Beautiful Dude Missile? Yeah. This song is called Beautiful off Dude Missile. Off of our missile. most okay. recent yeah. record. Yeah, yeah this cool. is off of our most recent album. Available everywhere? Everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. everywhere yeah. you find yeah. a music. You can find Beautiful Dude Missile. At, wherever at, you look, at your wherever, FYE, wherever local dude record stores, stores. Yeah. Yeah. wherever yeah. 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 dude missiles are found, yeah. You can hit up Raytheon for your, <laughs> for your <laughs> dude missile. So this section that's coming up is um, one and two and three and four. Uh, it's seven, eight. Oh, is it the? Yeah, it? it's it's one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four and five. Yeah. So it's two measures of seven, eight, and one of nine, eight. If not three measures of seven, eight, and one of nine, eight. I don't know. Okay. Uh, we've had this song written memory. for so long that like I don't hear the changes anymore. I don't I just count it anymore. Hear it as our song. Yeah. So here it comes. One, two, three, four, three, and four, and four, and five, one, two, three, and four, and five, one, two, three, and four, and five. But then there's also so it's also layered kind of. We have a very talented drummer. <laughs> this is the most metal crossword puzzle I've yeah, ever it's heard. It's pretty crazy, <laughs> yeah. It's pretty gnarly, yeah. It's dense. Besides buying Celebrity Therapist right now, mm -hmm. what are other ways for people to approach MathCore? Goodness, that's a great question. Um, that is a really good question. I have no idea. I got thrown in the deep end. Yeah. <laughs> so. I looked it up on Wikipedia, Brian. Sometimes it's good enough. All right, what's the best album people should begin their journey into mathcore with the Callous Dowboys? My Dixie Wrecked. What? Oh, oh, so you also looked on our Wikipedia. Awesome. I see. Boom. Oh, cool. It's not Boom. spelled the way you think it is. Yeah. yeah. If it's just two bodies doing the same thing, feel the same way, feel the same way. If it's just two bodies doing the same thing, feel the same way, feel the same way. <laughs> what? It's the name of their album. I yeah. You just got really excited. <laughs> My Dixie wrecked. wrecked. Like a car wreck. Yeah. We, yeah. we made that album when we were like 19. We kind of didn't have our shit together. Um, listen to Celebrity Therapist twice yeah. again. Yeah. Listen a, to it until it makes sense. We have an album that we put out last year called Celebrity Therapist and an album that we put out in 2019 called Die on Mars. Here's the oldest thing I've ever said. Cool. Do you have any normal songs? <laughs> we have a couple. We have, we have a couple that, that are pretty normal. Okay. Yeah. All right. I can tell you're worried. Yeah, no. Price, I mean... Price like that one. <laughs> Do you cover any Stone Temple Pilots? We, we, we sing sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm out. I always what? thought that the second <laughs> album was better than Core. That's what I he's like gonna Interstate say. Love Song. Interstate Love Song. Yeah. <laughs> We've had this Bye, Brian. Bye, Brian. <laughs> I think we're coming up on 15 years of working with Squarespace, and basically, they provide all of the framework for every phase of my career. Like, I started off performing on a street corner and then kept doing my same message. It just got amplified over time. Before Squarespace, I had to figure out, like, kludgy solutions on my own for how to build an email list or how to build an online store, make websites look good and stuff. Like, I did everything the hard way. Meanwhile, now, for everybody who's 30 years younger than me, 
they get to start with Squarespace. Every step of the way, they've got your back. Everything from award-winning designs, members-only sections, mailing lists, right now. Head on over to squarespace.com slash rogue. Spell it right, R-O-G-U-E. Start your free trial. Guess what? When you do sign up, you'll get 10% off and be keeping us in business. Win-win. Modern Rogue is supported in part by viewers like you at patreon.com slash modern rogue. In the description, you can find all of our credits and additional ways to support the show. We are normal music, huh? We are the cow yeah, sound normal music. <laughs> <laughs> normal music. The video should just end right there. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. right there. <laughs> Brian ran off to go see. He's like, oh, Peel of Fortune's about to start. <laughs> I hope Bonnie got me that Luann platter that I was asking for. <laughs> All right, that's a cut, everybody. All right, good Bonnie. job, Pete. That's Bonnie. Bonnie. Oh, 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 my God. Good job. Uh,